الم ترى الى الذين خرجوا من ديارهم وهم الوف حضر الموت فقال لهم الله موتوا ثم احياهم ان الله لذو فضل على الناس ولكن اكثر الناس لا يشكرون الم ترى literally means didn't you see but these wordings are repeated in the quran but they mean different differently at different places don't you think about those things have you never thought about it have you never considered the case alam tara alam tara ila alladheena have you never considered the case of those people kharaju min diarihim who came out from their houses wa hum uluf and they were in thousands hazar al maut fearing death faqala lahum allah mutu allah said to them die summa ahyahum then he revived them then he again brought them to life inna allah la zu fadil ala nas walakin aksar nas la yashkurun verily allah subhanahu wa taala is bountiful to mankind but most of the people they are not grateful they are not thankful now actually from here for two sections we are going to have an incident we should say or a part a chunk of the history of the bani israel bhai actually now when this surah al baqarah was being revealed time was nearing for the battle of badr there was going to be as i told you this surah was revealed just after hijra but before the battle of badr during these nearly 16 17 months this surah was revealed bit by bit now you know we are nearing the end of the surah and in the same way you must imagine that the time of the battle of badr was coming near nearer and nearer in the history of the previous muslim ummah there was a parallel battle which was fought between talut and jalut although this battle of badr in islam it was during the lifetime of the prophet himself sallallahu alaihi wasallam the case with the former muslim ummah was different during the lifetime of hazrat musa alaihi salatu wassalam there was no victory no state was established deen was not established but after his death the the jews the bani israel they could conquer palestine but as i told you they didn't establish one state one government they divided the whole country into 12 states small states and they kept you know fighting with each other for 300 years this was the state of affairs then came an event that their enemies you know they overpowered them because of their differences they exploited the, their differences and as a result they were turned out many of them were turned out from their homes and then they requested the prophet of that time hazrat samuel alai salatu wassalam you appoint for us a king a military leader so that we join our forces together the 12 tribes under one banner under one king under one military leader under one commander and so that we can fight our enemies then there happened that battle of talut and jalut and with that battle actually started their period of The, the, the which we call the golden period of the jewish history that is the days of talut alai salam and then dawud alai salam and then sulaiman alai salam they go to make nearly 100 years and that is the golden history golden period of the total history of the jews of bani israel now that battle of talut and jalut is going to be discussed but before discussing that battle this incident is given and about this we know there is no detail available in any sahi hadith what does this aya means maybe it was some miracle just as the miracles were there about the bani israel we have been reading the miracles throughout this surah they were killed and then they were revived and then you know they were put to death and then again they were revived these things have been happening so maybe it happened sometimes in the history of bani israel and but we can't say what was that event when it happened what were the details they are not available maybe that some of them they fled from their homes in fear of death then allah subhanahu wa taala put them to death then revived them to show them that life and death is in the hands of allah subhanahu wa taala you can't get life and you can't preserve life from 
by fleeing from death. You must face death. You must face the, the, the enemy in the battlefield. Don't flee away. Don't run away because you can die. There also while you are running away from battlefield, you can die. So that might be the case. But one of the Mufassirin, maybe the others also, the modern Mufassirin, has given a rational explanation of this event also. And he says, and he is Maulana Maududi, Rahimahullah. He says that this incident is referring to that event of their history. When you know, after Exodus, Bani Israel were required to fight against the Canaanites and conquer Palestine. And Moses alayhi salatu was himself leading them till that time. But the whole of the nation refused to, to go to war against the Canaanites. That event also will come in detail in Surah Al-Ma'idah. So to that actually Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in allegorical terms he is referring to this, this matter in these words because then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them a punishment. إِنَّهُمْ يَتِيهُونَ فِي الْأَرْضِ أَرْبَعِينَ سَنَةً إِنَّهَا مُحَرَّمَةٌ عَلَيْهِمْ أَرْبَعِينَ سَنَةً يَتِيهُونَ فِي الْأَرْضِ Had they not shown this cowardice that they have refused to go to war against the enemies of Allah they would have been given the the control of this country at this very moment. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would have given them this country at this very moment. But because of their cowardice, their refusal to go to war, now this land has been made forbidden for them. In Naha Muharramatun alayhim arba'ina sana for 40 years. They will go on, keep on wandering in this that desert for 40 years. During those 40 years, all the people, all the Bani Israel who had come from Egypt, who were born and raised up, in slavery, they died. Hazrat Musa alayhi salam also died. Hazrat Harun alayhi salam also died. All that generation died. And now a new generation, which was born in this desert, in free atmosphere, this generation came up. And then they fought against the enemies. And then they conquered and entered Palestine. So that may be allegorically, these were the being used. Mutu, that is, the old generation died. Sumahyahum, as if that nation was revived through a new generation that was born and brought up in the desert in free atmosphere. This is the explanation that Barana Madhudi has given. And I tend to agree with him, although you know, because you know, this is something, it doesn't fit wholly in the words of the ayah. But I think this is the nearest explanation that at least I have known up till this date. Wallahu alam. أَلَمْ تَرَى إِلَى الَّذِينَ خَرَجُوا مِنْ دِيَارِهِمْ وَهُمْ أُلُوفُ الْحَذَرَ الْمَوْتِ فَقَالَ لَهُمُ اللَّهُ مُوتُوا Didn't you see, didn't you think about the event of those people who came out of their houses fearing death? Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to them, die. So Mahyahum, then he revived them, brought them again to life. إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَذُو فَضْلٍ عَلَى النَّاسِ وَلَكِنَّ أَكْسَلَ النَّاسِ لَا يَشْكُرُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is definitely bountiful to the people, but most of the people are not grateful. Because now battle of Badr is nearing, again you know the injunction. Now you go to war for the cause of Allah in the way of Allah. Don't shirk going to war. And keep it in mind that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala listens to everything and he knows everything.